Well, good evening, Alaska. We are looking at the sunset right here in the Anchorage area as we speak, and the temperature's not bad at all. We are at 32 degrees. The winds are calm as we head into our evening hours. And with the clear skies still with us, you might catch some uh, stargazing. Certainly the moon, it's been pretty bright here in the last couple of days. Let's check out those winds. They were strong along parts of the Aleutian, St. Paul Island out of the Pribilofs. 53 mile per hour wind gust there, 54 in King Salmon, and a 43 mile per hour gust into Delta Junction. Our hot and cold spots for the state, we have to go way up to the northwest corner, Point Lay at 23 degrees below zero, and then Heidelberg along with uh, Kowak as, as well, both reaching 55 degrees today in the Panhandle. So for high temperatures for the rest of the state, 27 in Fairbanks, we had 37 in Bethel, and it goes to 43 from King Salmon, 48 for Yakutat, those 40s spread through the northern section of the Panhandle, single digit temperatures on the far north of our state. And now they're down to some sub-zero temperatures already. For South Central, it was another mild day when you see those temperatures up to 44 in Talkeetna, mid-30s around Wasilla and Palmer. We even saw 40s picking up across much of the Kenai Peninsula. Saldana included to Homer, 52 though out of Cordova. So you can see we are on the mild side. And a lot of that storm action, it's right along the west coast still, but we have another large area of low pressure that will be ramping up. It's already starting to impact the far west end of the Aleutians between these two storms. Uh, the circulation in the Gulf, as well as the circulation coming our way, it's going to be a big game changer for the weather. There are still tonight ongoing blizzard warnings. They'll have gusts to 50 miles per hour, 7 to 10 inches of snow. And this part of the state is not going to get much of a break because the next oncoming storm is going to reinforce all this stormy, wintry weather that they've had. Across the Kenai Peninsula, some storm clouds are already advancing. Here's a look at that forecast. We'll see the storm across the Aleutians move in. The storm into the Gulf of Alaska does push cloud cover into the uh, Panhandle as well as South Central. And then between the two of them, you can see that a lot of the state is going to see increasing clouds and a chance of some winter weather working its way in as we go into the weekend. Here's a look at our forecast heading into Saturday. A wintry mix continues along much of the West Coast out of southeast Alaska. We will also see those temperatures stay into the 40s. The northern portion of the Panhandle has the highest chance of holding on to that sunshine, whereas the clouds surging up from the south will bring a chance of some rain to Ketchikan, Petersburg, as well as Sitka. Now getting into the Kenai Peninsula, we will see the changes already underway by tomorrow morning across the south end of the Kenai Peninsula. Kodiak, you're in you're uh, looking at some rain. And then for Seward, a rain snow mix, 27 to 37. They're low to high. So that's why you see that range. And for the Prince William Sound area, I would say more rain during the day. It'll stay on the dry side for the Matsu for much of Saturday, but those temperatures are staying on the mild side as well. We'll stay into the low 30s for a high on Saturday here in the Anchorage area, really the weekend. And into next week, we actually see a chance of that rain snow coming in by Sunday, but it's really next week, a chance of snow materializing. We have not had any new snow for quite a while, and the snow we do have on the ground, it's it's compacting, it's melting, and it's not looking that great. Absolutely not. And Jackie, I am totally fooling myself at this point, and I, I know this, but the sun just feels warmer and brighter at this point. I like know. summer's trying to push its way back. I in. heard the word spring a lot today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, Jackie.